Whole number of the day, 43,987. So if we're thinking about word form, we can really start by place value, thinking about the four is in the 10,000s place value, right? Or 40,000. The three is in the thousands place value. So 3,000s, be 3,000. The nine is in the hundreds place value, so 900s, 900. The eight is in the tens place value, so eight tens would be 80. And then the seven is in the ones place value, so seven ones. So this first one is by place value. And then the second one, I want you to be creative, thinking about instead of just using this expanded form, to help you write this first word form, thinking about that place value, because expanded form is again, just about each number, what value it is in its place value position. Thinking about how could I write this? So really thinking about money, how could I decompose this number 43,987 into different parts than this one, but still have a total amount of 43,987. So what I, did is I just left it for 10,000. So if I had $10,000 bills and I had four of them, I would have $40,000, okay? Now, thinking about money again, if I have $100 bills, if I have $3,900 bills, well, nine of them would be $900, but 30 of them would be $3,000. So 3,900s would give me this 3,900 or 3,900 here. And then again, if I had $1 bills, if I had 87 $1 bills, I would have $87, right? So someone who has 87 ones has the same amount of money as someone who has eight tens and seven ones. You both have $87. You've just mixed and matched your uh, value, your values of you know tens and ones. So that's kind of what we're trying to be creative here. So when we add up all of these amounts, we end up with a total of 43,987. And it's, I was thinking of money again, this would add up to 43,987. So these are the same thing, the same word form. Moving on to our compare here. What I did is I went ahead and compared them already and I highlighted the part that I would be comparing. So we always start with the largest place value. So we always start with the 10,000 since all of these are in the 10,000s. And here we have four 10,000s, four 10,000s, 3,000s, 3,000s. Oh, now I have 900 versus 200. 900 is greater than 200. That's why 43,987 is greater than 43,000. 211. The rest of them uh, I could just compare in the largest place value 10,000 because one was clearly larger than the other. So then 43,987 is greater than 11,780. 12,199 is less than 43,987. Remember the crocodile always eats the larger of the two. And then 43,987 is less than 97,111. If we remember um, our multiplying times 10 strategy is to take our digits, think of those as multiplying times one. So that's 43,987 times one is 43987, and then adding that zero on the end for 439,870. Now, moving on to the rounding portion. So we really have to be paying attention to what we're rounding to. So if we're rounding to the hundreds, that's this 900. So I think 43,900 plus one more hundred would be 44,000. What's in the middle of 43,900 and 44,000? That would be 43,950, right? Thinking about half of 100 would be 50. So we add 50 to this number that gets us our midpoint, right? Because we only added 100 to it. So now we're going to take this midpoint and we're going to compare it to this number. So 43,987 would be more than 43,950, right? 87 is more than 50. So it would go over here close to 44,000. 
Therefore, when I'm thinking about this number, 43,987, it lives between 43,900 and 44,000, and it's closer to 44,000. So we're going to round up to 44,000. Okay, so again, we, when we're rounding to the thousands, now we need to focus on the thousands. So what thousands place does 43,987 live between? It lives between 43,000 and 44,000. So this time I added 1,000 to it. The midpoint would be 43,500. Again, half of 1,000 is 500, so I add 500 here to find my midpoint. I added a total of 1,000, half of it is 500, that would get me in the middle. And now I'm going to compare 43,500, my midpoint, to 43,987. Well, that's going to be really close to 44,000, and it's much bigger than 43,500, so I'm even closer to 44,000 over here, and I'm the, going to round up again to 44,000. Now this next one is for 10,000, so that would be 40,000, plus 10,000 would be 50,000. And what's between 40 and 50? 45, so between 40,000 and 50,000, the midpoint would be 45,000. And when I compare 43,987 to 45,000, it's gonna be less than that. So it's somewhere around here, and that means that it's closer to 40,000, since it's less than the midpoint. And I'm going to round down to 40,000. So now I'm curious about all of the numbers, not that round to this number, but that round to this number, 40,000. So we use your answer from the rounding to the nearest 10,000 for the least number that rounds to 40,000. So again, thinking, if I know the least number and then the greatest number, then all the numbers in between also around 40,000, so we're really trying to find all of the numbers. I know that least means less or smaller, so 40,000 less 10,000 would be 30,000, so it's going to be between 30,000 and 40,000. How do I know that? Because it says least, and that number would have to be less or smaller than 40,000. Our midpoint is going to be 35,000. So I'm thinking, you know, what numbers round to 40,000 on this number line? So this number right here, like maybe 31,000, rounds down to 30,000. 32,000 rounds down to 30,000. And so far around to 30,000. Once I hit the midpoint right here at 35,000, that is the first number that would round up to 40,000. Now everything from 35,000 forward on this number line would round to 40,000. So my least number would be 35,000. Now my greatest number, right, I know that that means more or bigger, greater than, so I'm going to add another 10,000 to 40,000. So my greatest number is going to be between 40,000 and 50,000. The midpoint would be 45,000. Now, starting at the midpoint, this time if I look at the midpoint, that rounds to 50,000. Hmm, all of these ones to the right of it round to 50,000, including the 45,000. So 45,000 would not be my answer. My answer is the one right next to 45,000. Whatever this number is, is the biggest number that rounds back down to 40,000. So that number is one less than our midpoint, or 44,999. And that is your number of the day for 43,987.